Hey guys, my Vernon Kid here, uh, coming again to you guys. Um, and basically, I'm getting back into doing, giving my thoughts on uh, Thundercats like I used to. But this time, I'm just gonna, you're just gonna hear my voice and see stills as, you know. But um, I'm gonna give my thoughts on the past two episodes that passed episode 9 and episode 10. So sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy. Okay, so episode nine was entitled "The Burbles." Uh, this was this was a pretty much an episode that really played up to us old school fans of the show. That for the producers, basically, in my opinion, that showed that yes, there are some of the original allies of the the uh, Thundercats still in this new version of the series and uh, I gotta say this really played a lot of homage to the original episode when the Burbles first appeared the differences in between the Burbles the 80's Burbles and the 2011 Burbles simple uh they're able to roll up into a ball kind of like metroid or so and that's how they get around uh their their voices are more (laughs) auto-tuned than the original uh we got to see more female burbles than just robert bell from the original series but it still played up the whole notion of what the burbles were all about from the get-go and from the 80s they were all of these peace loving harmony you know uh cybernetic bears that love to help and we see that in this episode we saw them help the thunder they hell they even repaired the thunder tank you know and it the episode kind of was appearing to play up that appearances could be deceiving they're using their cuteness their helpful helpful acts to get help from the cats you know because of an enemy that comes and takes them away uh this enemy was known as the the conqueror and he comes and takes burbles away and use them as slaves and we saw a pretty much a a uh, friendship divide but it evolved with Panthro mainly in this episode uh, I thought it was great I thought it was very interesting it was very much it paid a lot of homage to the 85 you know the 80s uh, version of them you know especially when they were t- selling what they were you know I remember clearly from the original you know when they were saying burbles and Lionel was like yeah herbal derbal like he thought that was their language they played that up in this episode as well you know um i i thought it was very intriguing to see you know i i think the 2011 version of burbles kind of have a little bit of one-upship over the 80s version because like i said they can do a little bit more in terms of get around faster and the way they get around faster is roll up into this ball like I said like Metroid or so and move around and you know uh, to wherever they need to be but they're still great engineers and other than that the action scenes were really good they did play up as well paid homage to the the 80s version as well with the, the Trollocs and the giant tours in this the giant tours looked a little bit more creepier than their their 80 year 80 counterparts I must say so it did play up a little more than what I expected but the Trollocs still look the same and uh, it really it was just a really good homage episode really to me um, I really enjoyed episode 9, The Burbles. Uh, it was just really fun to me. But, uh, yeah, what did you guys think of that episode? So, 
episode 10 was a very, very interesting episode as well, uh, guys, that I once again really enjoyed because of what the episode really uh, personified as, as well as demonstrated in this episode. Uh, the episode 10 entitled Sight Beyond Sight, basically. Uh, the cats, Lionel and the gang, are, are on the track of finding one of the magic stones. Uh, and they end up pretty much in a village that is inhabited by <laughs> elephants. Um... It was interesting to see that because we never seen, you know, once again, elephant beings or so in the 80s series. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because I don't remember seeing that. Um, the elephants in this really reminded me of Buddhist, you know, Shaolin, Hinduism monks, basically. You know, they were peace loving you know all about balance and you know it is the way of nature and let nature take its course and things like that um even when like their food would be taken from them they they looked at it as it it's still a balance of grace we struggle but yes we still live and it was kind of hard for Lino and the others to really look at that as base a basis of you know why do you just stand there and let them take your stuff without putting up a fight? You know, it was really interesting. This was another interesting episode to me. Uh, it was really funny with the elephants because they say elephants never forget. Well, in this episode, yeah, they forget stuff, uh, which they played that up very funny and very well in this uh, episode. You know, for example, you know, when they... When Lionel was telling the telling the elephant his their their names, they kept getting it wrong or they they were mis saying it wrong or things like that. It it was funny or for directions or or why not to do this. They would like uh, I know it has something to do very important, you know, but they were very peace loving <laughs> peace loving uh, individuals, but they did help. The, the, I guess the elder of the group did help kind of help Lionel more with mastering sight beyond sight because I like the fact that they still have Lionel not really fully uh, in tuned, fully, uh, you know, mastered the Sword of Omens. You know, he still cannot really properly develop, you know, sight beyond sight. And we got to see that every action has a reaction. There must be balance in this that they showed in it. That was the main premise of this episode, balance. And we got to see that a lot, you know. And we got to see, once again, Lionel and the cast grow, you know. Uh, but even before that, we got to see... Uh, it was really funny seeing the, the gang race, you know, and you know race to finding where the stone was you know lion on tigra gotten the little like uh, motor pods of the thunder tank and they drove off to race and you know tiger uh panthro didn't want to do it and he's saying slow and steady wins the race and then you know Ch chitara kind of boasted him goaded him into racing and she chased him down that was a really cool scene i thought was great uh not a lot of fighting in this which was okay with me. I'm, I don't, I don't always need a lot of action to really enjoy an episode. Uh, but this episode really had a lot of, really touched me in a way because I do tend to, believe it or not, guys, meditate. I do meditate, and it does help a lot. And I got to see that with these elephants it was really touching. It was touched a little. It was really a touch of home with me. Uh, we like like I said, we got to see a lot of the outcome of the, the actions that you know were taking this episode. For like, if remember in this episode, we saw uh, 
the, the those bee-like creatures that steal the food of the elephants, well, Lionel actually basically sealed them up, and we saw the action of him sealing those up, what came after that, this giant rock creature, you know, their buzzing kept that creature kind of at bay or so, you know, so this was another good episode, very, uh, well-developed episode, in my opinion, uh, all about, you know, balance, harmony, you know, things like that, you know, and once again, you know, the elephants are really funny, you know, they just, you know, the whole thing of, you know, the whole, they can't remember too many things, you know, but they know what harmony and balance is, you know, like I said, in, in the animal kingdom, they say elephants never forget, they never forget, but, <laughs> they they forgot in this episode but i really enjoyed this episode um guys uh what did you guys think of this episode uh did you like it did you enjoy it do you think it was a waste of time you know but uh what did you think as always and um i hope you guys didn't mind my thoughts on episode 9 and episode 10 um and this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real. I'll take care.